Now this is Metropolitan Condo. Oh my goodness, just check this out. Entire good class bungalow landed and claimed Chatsworth portion. You can see Orchard Ion, Marina Bay Sands right on the east direction. Sea view that makes reflections look pretty small. Oh my goodness, this is a size three times of my own kitchen. We are going to share with you how you can create an additional fifth bedroom right within this 2,831 square feet penthouse. It just looks like a thumb shape. This is Metropolitan Condo. We are heading up to one of the three extremely rare single level penthouse type of layout that you can find right here within the Alexandra region. This is fantastic. I'm going to open up this sliding panels that looks Pretty beautiful with this nice black framing feature. Uh, this is the view of the entire good class bungalow, landed enclave. This is also the Chatsworth portion. On that side, you can see Orchard Ion, one of the tallest buildings right there on the Orchard Road. That is the view of Marina Bay Sands. Uh, you get a little bit of pocket sea view right there of the CBD as well. I'm going to bring you back to this part. That is Bukit Timah right in front. And then you can see Deliden. If you can see that very curvature angle, that is actually the entire One North Silicon Valley of Singapore. I'm going to bring your attention back to this house because renovation right here was just barely three years. Owner spent close to about $300,000 to do a gut renovation for the entire place. We're just about 130 meters from the Red Hill MRT. In fact, if you walk out from the side gate, that only takes you probably about 50 meters to reach the MRT station. If you're looking for the prime district right here in Singapore, you must check out this location. We call this the prime hexagon of Singapore. So this prime hexagon is basically formed by six distinct areas that is within this zoning right here. So the first three apex of this hexagon is right over there, Silicon Valley of Singapore, and there's the entire One North Tech Hub. You also have Holland D, the entire Bukit Timah Street Orchard, CBD and the Marina Bay area. And the last one will be the Greater Southern Waterfront, which is right towards the south direction. Why is that important is because you are not only in a normal growth area, you are sitting within six different apex that has future potential in the next 10 years. Now, Metropolitan was one of the first few condominiums to pop up within this entire enclave of condominiums that's situated right beside the Red Hill MRT station. So Metropolitan was completed in the year 2009 and after which there were several other condominiums that popped up as well. And these are all 4.9 meters in terms of its URA plot ratio, which means that all the towers right here can go up to about 40 over different levels. Right here, you have two, three and four bedrooms plus a total of 11 penthouses. Now, out of the 11 penthouses, which are all four bedrooms in nature, you have six of them which are single level kind of penthouse. Now, one of them is located at stack number six facing towards the south side, a slightly small size which is about 2004 to 2005 square feet. Uh, this is the bigger version of the penthouse between 2008 to about 3,000 square feet and they have dual angles which is the north direction as well as the south side direction. There are predominantly four different types of penthouses. Now, the first one being the duplex type, the bedrooms and living space on level one, and level two being this roof terrace space. Now, the second type will be the penthouses with some of the bedrooms sitting right on top of level two, coupled with a roof terrace space. The third type will be the triplex kind of penthouses, which you have level one being the living and dining zone, level two being mainly the bedrooms, and level three being the roof terrace. Now, you also have a fourth type, which is the one that we're sending in right now and this is a single level kind of penthouse usually single level penthouses they occupy a large amount of space in terms of its stack distribution now if we do look at the distribution we're sitting on a four beta and a three beta stack combined thus giving us between 2008 to about 3000 square feet size in nature with a very widespread layout and this is the only stack that gives you such a wide width within the entire floor plate I think I like it.
This concept right here is very lasting. You have a nice modern foyer right here with a different shade in terms of flooring texture. So right here you have very nice dark tiles that is very long lasting because this is the place that you want to have a little bit more flexibility. Owners have designed this bottom cabinetry. Eight different panels kind of shoes right here. And uh, just check out the woodwork. This theme here is a neutral, a little bit of modern Scandinavian kind of style. The moment you step into the living zone, you're going to see these long strips, very solid wood that fronts the entire living dining. And back to the rarity that we talk about, only level 42, 43 and 44 gives you the single level penthouses. And Metropolitan happens to have a site plan that is pretty interesting because it just looks like a thumb shape. Don't, uh, don't it? Does this look a thumb shape? Just put a side plan right behind, beside my thumb. You not only have that 50 meters lap pool that you want, you also have very nice size kids pool and spa pool plus barbecue pit. A tennis court that is pretty much extinct right now in most of the new launches. And we're gonna have a look at this dining space here. So you have this very nice, I would say, continuation of carpentry work right from the shoe cabinetry area that's flowing towards this angle right here. So owners like to have this very nice wooden finishing that fronts the entire cabinetry door compared to just a normal version. So I think this entire space can be a combination of your own storage for a living area as well as your dining space. Because it was just recently designed, there were a lot of top process that were placed within the renovation, the ID work. You have plugs sitting on top of a carpentry. These are all very useful. This is a six-seater marble dining top. You can go up to, I think, a 10-seater. The width is extremely fantastic. Have a look at the living room. I used to stay up all night, trying to find my place. Chasing neon lights and looking for some kind of trace. With this huge L-shaped corner, easily a six-seater right here before you plunge into the living room. Wow, this is great. This is such a huge squarish layout that everybody would love to have. You have this very nice, beautiful black and white shelving system here that just pops up in terms of the overall. So you can fill it up with books as well. Generally, it is a lighter wood tonality with four hand-picked huge slabs of marble that our owners have hand-picked together with their ID. It's made into this very symmetrical four pieces that fronts the entire TV console zoning. You also have very nice overhanging TV console right at the bottom for you to put in your stuff. This home, you can just stand at any particular backdrop. You can take great photos with it. So you can take great photos here. You can take great photos here as well. I don't think you have to take photos outside anymore because your home is so beautifully done. Now this black frame door system at the balcony is nicely done. It's not a conventional sliding panel. These are all bifoldable doors that you can push out all to the left and right hand side. Venison blinds are within. Young kids at home, invisible grills has been done. Planter occupies about one third of the balcony width. At this setback right here, you have a deeper balcony space which is fantastic. So it's also like L-shaped balcony layout right here. So this is great space for another outdoor dining set. So what we like about stack number 8 is that you have north direction, it's so breezy. You have south direction but you don't have the west direction because it's blocked by the other stacks. You have an extra space right here, which currently is being used as sanctuary or you can use this as a reading zone. This is now being used like a display area. We're heading into this fantastic kitchen. Let's have a look. All right, this kitchen is extremely huge. This is like, oh my goodness, the size of two to perhaps three kitchens. Theme of the kitchen is kept to dark kitchen countertop as well as a greyish tone for all the cabinetries for easy maintenance. And you have so many different angles. You have this first zone here that you can put in your oven and your wine chiller at the bottom. That is also the fridge space. You have another zone here for you to have baking and cooking with thermal mix. 
which is getting extremely popular. We love the fact that you have five panels of windows right here for ventilation and you get to wash your dishes. Looking at the view of good class bungalows, oh my goodness. Although it's a single sink, it's the size of a dual sink. Okay, we're going to check out some of the carpentry work right here because uh, that is very important. Two pull-outs at the bottom. A lot of pull-outs, a lot of pull-outs. Pull-outs like this are more expensive to create compared to openable doors. Because pull-outs, you need additional hinges, additional woodwork for the drawers as well. So if you can see, I will draw out for you. It's like an L across another L. <laughs> Whoever is the lady of this home, you're going to love this kitchen because you can just cook all day. You can do heavy cooking. It's an enclosed kitchen version. You have a separate yard internal refuge system plus a WC in the yard zone and super long yard that you can put in two washers and two stack up dryers on top. And at the same time, you have a home shelter right within and this entire zoning here is like yours for you to do normal natural clothes drying. Of course, you can do it at the balcony or you can just use a dryer. All right, before we head to the bedrooms, we want to chat about how did penthouses evolve? Yeah, so penthouses evolved since 1920s in New York. Uh, according to some research and articles, most buildings in the olden days, they were pretty short in nature. But as city life became more and more predominant, buildings became taller and taller. Back in the 1900 eras, some developers started to explore having premium units right on top of the buildings itself. So right here, like Metropolitan, there are only 11 of them. If you prefer a type of penthouse that you don't have to climb the staircase, then the single level penthouse is something that is very rare in Singapore. Now, the asking price for this penthouse is at 4.68 million. Now, if we were to calculate based on per square foot, that would be about $1,600 per square foot. And meantime, let's have a look at the bedrooms. And yes, this is the master room now. Because the master room is so huge, it's actually the size of two bedrooms combined. So when our owners have designed this place, they actually thought of this very beautiful concept whereby you have a nice resting zone here. With your first area as your work from home area, there's still so much to do. Even if you want to create an additional space here as a resting zone or reading zone, this can be done. Right now it's a study table area. King bed with a build up side table and an extremely beautiful bed head zoning right here. Oh, check this out. Oh, very nice dark shaped lamp, which just fits nicely into the home. Now, a lot of small little details like the ceiling and the down lights have all been nicely done. Work from home office right at this angle. And if you're gonna follow me here, this is the interesting part that they have created because that was where I first started. Right here. Yes, and this is the pop-out area that you have. You have a very beautiful walk-in wardrobe space. Now, you know now this walk-in wardrobe area, sometimes because of the layout of your bedroom, a lot of walk-in wardrobes, they have very concealed zoning with no open air system. But because of the layout of this master room, you get to enjoy this view from here as well. In the master, you have your own deck out balcony. This is all done with invisible grills as well. Enjoying the same view that you have in your living area. I'm gonna head in here. Let's check out a walk-in wardrobe space. So you have six concealed walk-in wardrobe cabinetry system. Beautifully done. And the open area, because these are all things that you want it to be pretty more handy. And right behind me, it will be your own suite. It has been fully renovated. Beautifully done. Check out the wall tiles. It's just like some hotels. Feels like this as well. Bottom vanity, side vanity as well. Oh, wow. You can actually open to the left and right side. Very smart. So it's not even a pull-up version. Oh, sorry, my fingerprints. Okay. Standing shower area with a sitting zone. Pretty cool, right? Okay, we're gonna head into the junior master. Oh my goodness, check this out. You have the sea view 
right from this room. That is where the action of Greater Southern Waterfront is gonna happen. Reflections is right there, it looks pretty small because my fingers can grab it. You wanna zoom in on my fingers, Josephine? Seems like I can grab it somehow. Looks pretty small because perhaps we're above 40th floor. First area here, cushioned L-shaped area right at the bay window. Nicely done. Within the bay, you also have plugs already allocated here so you can actually use this as a TV console space as well if you want to. You have four panels of wardrobe hidden along this wall. This room is also extremely huge. I think it's the size of at least two of the common bedrooms that you can find with some newer developments right now. Full height panel windows and your own private ensuite, queen bed. King bed is definitely possible. You have so much of space here. Dressing table area. And then we're gonna head out to look at the other two common rooms. Let's go. All right, so the junior master, the master is right tucked in the corner. And then you have a very nice size common bathroom here that's serving the other two bedrooms. We're gonna head into two of the common bedrooms here. Uh, perhaps you're heading here and then I will head in here. And uh, you'll notice that half of the wall is actually brought down because this is designed to be a kid's room without alterating too much of the original bedroom's configuration. So if you notice the two door frames and the two doors are still intact, the only thing that was being modified is just half of the wall. So all you need to do is you can pull back the wall right here and the wall frame is also still intact along this direction so you can just patch back the wall right here we've got a quotation ready it will cost less than two thousand dollars to put back the wall and then you will then have the third and fourth bedroom remaining intact right here so bedroom size is also fantastic these two bedrooms will share a common planter balcony that will overlook towards the same greenery view that you have this room right now has a total of five different panels of wardrobe space that's very suitable to be your kids room wardrobe with a tuck-in triangle roof corner shape of a house you can just sit here and play your organ as well as two extra panels right on top for toys and then for this room is a mirror image same size currently there's a huge table chest of drawer right here right now there's a drum set bed head direction definitely will be against this wall and then your wardrobe right tight at the corner with a table right here towards this room bed head direction can be along this wall line study table fronting towards the front view as well as the wardrobe is already intact so this room are beautiful because you have the single loading kind of layout along the walkway, it's extremely difficult to find walkways towards the bedroom with windows right here. And that brings in huge amount of airflow. <laughs> okay, so it's time for pricing analysis. If you're shopping for a penthouse, why is it extremely difficult to find a penthouse within this area below a five mil mark? It's like this one, within this entire condo enclave right here. Penthouses are not in existence in some of the projects. Penthouses that are in existence because of the sheer sure size of it, some of the penthouses can scale up to close to about six million dollars or maybe even up to seven, eight million dollars mark. And if we were to compare that with some of the new launches, they either build penthouses which are extremely high quantum, close to about six, seven million or eight million dollars, or they don't build the penthouses at all. This is one of the rare ones with such a fantastic view. At the start of the video, we promise to share with you where is the area to build the fifth bedroom. If you have guessed it right, this is the area right here. If you want to create this into a flexible fifth bedroom, you can technically put your bed right here, a super single. You can also alternatively use it as a study area and uh, you can walk up to the same balcony right there. I would say that you can use this as a very flexible room. We also have some recommendations if you're a lover for extremely huge wet and dry kind of kitchen, you can also bring down this wall and you can create a nice island top right this direction, making this into a dry kitchen area or you can hack down this wall, bring your dining space right towards this direction with a combination towards your balcony as alfresco dining and internal dining, thereby enlarging this entire space. And one more thing for renovated units compared to you buying something that is non-renovated. Let's just give two distinct examples. Maybe you would buy a penthouse 
similar size like this one, lesser total quantum and maybe about $4.5 million. The total down payment 25% plus the stamp duty. And let's say you have to pump in the same exact amount of $300,000 for renovation. This will be the total upfront investment that you have to pump out. The bigger the square footage, you have to spend more time, have to adhere to the MCST kind of renovation timing. All these things take a little bit more time. Now, take for example, if you were to buy this at a full asking price of $4.68 million, 25% down payment with the stamp duty, that will then bring you to this amount. Pricing in terms of the renovation has already been pumped into the price itself. And if you to compare, the upfront investment is quite distinct. So if you want to have a look at this place, do give our listing managers a call. Once again, my name is Melvin Lim. Thank you for seeing us throughout the home tour. As always, happy to show the place. Take care. Of the red three single story, single level penthouse. One, three. Windows right here, and that brings in huge amount of airflow. <laughs> Our owner is sitting right here. <laughs> okay, it just stop. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, you hide outside. Behind the desk. Okay. Anna? All right. Sorry? <laughs> <laughs>